Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had a good week. I have had a really good week. Yesterday, John and I, and then Brooke and her friend, we all went to the pool for a little while. And that always, just that warm sun, being outside, just the breeze, everything just kind of resets me. So I'm feeling really good today, although it's going to rain. John went to play golf, so I hope he gets enough time to play his golf game. I have like an array of things to show you today. And it is fragrance heavy, so if you are not into fragrance, this might not be, but I do have some dresses, some shoes, and some makeup. So it's just what I bought this week. First of all, I'm gonna start off with this little gift set. This is one of the first things that I purchased when I kinda dove into fragrance in the last couple of months. And I will say, I have purchased probably 10 to 15 of these types of sets now. This is probably the most rewarding one. And as you can tell, I have one missing and that is my favorite. I wore it the other day and it is this one. I wore it over to my mom's and when I put it on that morning, okay, back up. First of all, every morning I do a little fragrance sampling for myself. I will put out some fragrances maybe the night before or as they come in in the mail. And that morning I will spray them all, kind of read about them, watch some videos about them maybe, and you know, get my initial thoughts and then I'll keep on smelling like the little scent stick thing. I don't know what that's called, the card and you know, kind of go from there. So I did that the other morning. I had already smelled a few of these, but, but I did it with intention and that was my favorite. And it was so much my favorite that I mean, I could not get enough. It is one of those fragrances. I just sprayed it up and down my arms. I just sprayed it all over and I loved it all day. Some fragrances, I love at first and then I, I just think, eh, they're okay, you know, because I'm always thinking about what am I going to tell you guys. That one, I just loved all day. My mom loved it. I said, here, I just gave it to her because I went ahead and purchased a big one, and it is the Kaoli Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. I tilt it down so you can see. So it's nothing, the box isn't anything special, and I mean, the bottle, I think we've all seen these so many times before. The only thing is I'm somebody that doesn't like fingerprints. Like I am someone who has a microfiber in the front seat and every place so that I can wipe off my phone and things like that. So that might bug me, but I'll get over it. So here is the fragrance, the Kaoli Utopia, and it is just the most yummy, coconutty vanilla. I believe it has some florals in it. Maybe I'll put the notes up here, but all I can say, it is a smooth, yummy summer fragrance that makes you feel, it's almost like aromatherapy. It just made me feel calm and I loved it. It wasn't something that made me feel beautiful or dressed up or going to the beach. It just kind of was um, pleasing and smooth and I just really really loved it. I have believe me like the other day when I wore the Prada That to me was like Wearing a dress that you think is beautiful. You know, it's a beautiful dress and You put it on it's still a beautiful dress, but you don't feel right in it That's how that fragrance was to me. It just was a little too formal and it didn't have like a it didn't have a crust. It didn't have like an amber, a vanilla, a sandalwood, a cedarwood, just something to ground it. It was just a little too much floral and a little too, um, I don't know, it just wasn't me. So, and I, I sprayed one spray, and let me tell you, that spray lasted all day long. It is a good lasting fragrance and it's very pretty. It's just not for me. A few more fragrances I got this week. I guess I'll go ahead and do that now. This one I actually bought weeks ago and I probably got it, I probably bought it over a month ago and I probably got it, I don't know, it's been a while. This, this is me in a bottle. This, the bottle 
the fragrance, the vibe, everything. This is the Guerlain Terracotta Parfum. It's not crazy expensive. I think it's like $75. It's right in line with other, you know, designer fragrances, but I did have to order it from Selfridges. But I went ahead and joined. They have like a shipping type membership thing where then you get cheaper shipping, if not free, but it, or like $15 or something. And that's what I did because I knew I might be ordering some other things. And I thought, well, that might open some new possibilities in makeup too. But this, let me go ahead and I am so right-handed. I can barely do anything with my left hand. So, oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, bronze goddess, bronze goddess, bronze goddess, but not as sweet with, it's just, oh my goodness, I just love it so much. Okay, I'm learning not to put it like on, if you're gonna put it on your chest or on your clothes, you want to do it kind of far away so that the alcohols kind of evaporate before it hits your chest. And you don't want to do it too close to your clothes in case it's an oily, heavy fragrance that could stain your clothes. This one, I don't think it is, but see what I mean? Like if I didn't love this, I couldn't spray that many sprays. It is amazing. It is me in a bottle. I looked it up to see if that was like a tag, but I saw two girls do that video. And I thought, you know, that's what I need to get in my mind. I want to review and try fragrances for you guys. But for me, for my collection that sits out here that I choose from every day, I want them all to be me in a bottle. And that's what this is. Now, I, I would say the same thing about the Kaoli. That's me in a bottle, just a different mood, just a different, a different day. So both of those are just... Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, speaking of gorgeous, look at these boxes. Just these boxes alone are a thing of beauty. I will never throw away these boxes. I want to keep them out somewhere. I might even, the bottles are just as beautiful, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but these are on Sephora now, and they are limited edition Gucci fragrances. Okay, I will go ahead and say I get very confused with the Gucci Flora Gardenia range because they will come in different bottles for different years. It will be the exact same fragrance in two totally different bottles. So the ones I have here are the limited edition Emerald Gardenia. Okay, look at this. It's just simple beauty. And part of this is because, you know, I'm a big believer in what brings you joy. What gives you that happy boost? And I don't know if you know what I'm feeling or what I'm talking about, but sometimes something like a fragrance or just looking at something really beautiful, it just gives you that happy boost. And it's, I feel like that is so valuable. It's almost like a drug. I mean, it is just so valuable. Well, one night I was up here and I had my lamps on and I just looked across my little table over there with all of my beautiful glass bottles and they just made me so happy. It's just like jewelry or something. So a lot of these bottles I may be getting for the bottle. And so when I saw these, I'll go ahead and take this one out. This one is the Emerald and this one is just the plain Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. And I, I couldn't get this one in the big one. I think I could have gotten this one in the small one, but I kind of thought, you know, like when you're arranging food or any type of table like that, kind you want some different heights and I might even get a nice cake stand or something like that. But these are just beautiful to me and the scent. Okay, before I ordered them, I did know that I liked the scent. I basically like all, just all of uh, Gucci's scents. I haven't really come across a Gucci scent that I don't like. So I sprayed this this morning. I will say the Emerald Gardenia, I believe this has a cedarwood note in it. Oh yes, this one, you know I don't usually like fresh notes. Usually when someone says fresh or um, energizing or green or you know anything like that, I know now that that's not for me. This is different because it gives it a, 
It's still floral, but it gives it a little bit, just the tiniest little touch of a boyfriend scent or a little sporty vibe. Like this one I can see wearing just day to day, even with your sweatpants. I could, any day, any day. Even a formal thing, I would do this. Okay, this is another thing I wanted to say. And I, I need to save this for perfume videos, but I am not going to formal, formal events. So you may not see some formal, formal, you know, fragrances here. But I don't want to just totally do things that are so out of my wheelhouse and that I'm never going to wear. I want to stay within the realm of possibilities, but still try different things for you. For me, this would be formal, which would be going to a pool party or a friend's house or a dinner or, you know, dinner at the beach, something like that. That's what, I mean, it is gorgeous. Now the gorgeous gardenia, it's still a fresh gardenia. Have, do you guys have any gardenias? We had a gardenia in my old house and I would bring the flowers in and put them like in a little bud vase and it would smell up the entire kitchen. Now this is not that sweet. It's not as sweet as a true real gardenia, but it still is a summer floral. I would totally wear this in the summer, but I tell you, I don't know if I even would have gotten these. I do already have some Gucci fragrances, but this bottle and box just like sent me over the edge. Okay, my lip combo. This is a new collaboration with Christian Audette, and it is our friend Tara Lynn. And the lipstick is Bare Nectar, a universally flattering, and I will say that, luminous lipstick offering a beautiful peach with a pop of coral undertone. It's the perfect shade for that youthful glow. And then the gloss is called Ray. It's a beautiful peachy pink gloss with a mirror shine finish. Wear alone for that comfortable glossy lip or over bare nectar for that beautiful pop of color. This is the third time I've worn it. The day I got it, I wore it over just what I had on, which I think might've been my lip combo. Beautiful. Then the other day I wore this lip combo, which is my lip liner in paradise, the bare nectar lipstick, and then the Ray gloss. So let me swatch these for you. It's very, brightening without being obnoxious. I really don't go, I've learned that a lot of times if the name is a coral, it's too orangey for me. This is not like that. This is a very bright, it's very similar to that YSL, very similar without the shimmer. I mean, you can probably tell that. Matter of fact, let me, I blotted my lips and tried to take the bulk of my lip liner off. So there you see the actual color, and then the gloss does complement it perfectly. It almost gives it a little bit more pink. I don't like to put on too much gloss because then when I drink and everything, it comes right off. But isn't that beautiful? So congratulations to Christian Audette and Tara Lynn. You created a beautiful collection, and I think this is a perfect, perfect summertime combo. I've been wearing that all week, and it does, it wears off well too. Just wears off really, it still like almost stains your lips a little bit. Another lip product, this is a funny story. This is, you guys remember Bay Harbor Beauty. She makes the most beautiful shower scrubs, just, vegan, cruelty-free. I mean, she actually makes them herself. And body butters, just everything. She made this lip, let's see what it's called, satin lip mask, and sent me this and a tube. I'm not sure if the tube is the same thing, but it was right in the height of me getting so much makeup. I think it was right around the Sephora sale. I just had so much already that I needed to try. I thought, I'm gonna take this over and have my mom try this and then she can report back to me. Well, it's so funny, you know, I go to my parents at least Sunday night and I go on Tuesday morning. And Sunday night, it's my mom and dad and Tuesday morning, it's usually just my mom. So a lot of times on Tuesday morning, we are talking more about fragrance, makeup, flowers, you know, just girly things. And out of the blue, 
she said, yeah, that lip, I don't even know what she called it, lip, she probably didn't call it lip mask, lip conditioner you sent over. She says, it is really different. She said, I've been putting it on and it does something weird. It makes the edges of my lips pucker up. And I said, what do you mean? Like it's plumping? And she said, you know, just the edge, just around the edge, it makes my lips kind of pucker up. I said, well, mama, that's good. That's good. It means it's, you know, getting those lines out of like your vermilion border. So immediately I was like, can I please have another? Because I didn't want to take it back from my mom, but I wanted to try it. The first time she sent it to me, I think I accidentally threw it away. And so she just sent it to me again and I have been trying it. And indeed it does seem to, like I put it on, I put it on this morning, but when you put it on at night and it's not, that's the only thing that's weird about it is it's kind of hard and you don't really know like if you're getting enough, if, you see how it's kind of almost oily and I kind of sometimes will just take something and just get a, a big bunch of it out and then put it on my lips. And it does, when you wake up in the morning, you will notice that your lips feel kind of weird and they feel kind of puckered and plumped. Not like a plumping gloss, but if you get it, you'll see what I mean. It's, it's definitely different. So I just wanted to tell you about that. And I'm gonna ask her if it does come in a stick, I think I would rather have the stick. Okay, really quick, the Colleen Rothschild mask, hair mask is back in stock. I hope it still is. I just got this. I think day before yesterday, I still have the shampoo. So this is perfect for me to get the mask. I don't think that the shampoo is back in stock. You can still get the little travel, but I think her hair serum is back in stock too. This stuff, you guys, mm. it is so luxe and good. And the smell is sexy and it makes your hair like sleek. I just love it. So if you have been wanting to try the hair mask, it is back in stock. So I just wanted to tell you. And then sunglasses. Okay, I have an update. The sunglasses that I showed you last week, I really liked them all, but like I always tell you, there is something about, if you want it, the good and the bad and the very ugly, take a little video of yourself. Better yet, take a video of yourself changing clothes a few times. <laughs> that will bring you right back down to earth, down to reality, and it, it's, it's brutal. But watching yourself in a video trying on sunglasses is totally different too, because you see yourself in a totally different, it's not like looking in a mirror, it's just different. I did not really care for, I love the Ray-Bans. I just think that the Ray-Bans are so classic. I love the fancy, I love the size, everything. But I found myself not wanting to wear the other two. So I thought, well, that's ridiculous. I'm going to take those back. And in the meantime, Laura Vitale had said she would love to find a pair of aviators that we could put back in our hair that didn't have the nose pieces that would get caught in our hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's pouring down rain now. So John will be coming home soon. But, so I had that in my mind. And then one of my subscribers told me about a pair of Fendi sunglasses that Tamara Kalinick had tried on. So I went over there and I watched that. I, you know, took a screenshot, so I went into Sunglass Hut. They're so good to work with. I mean, so good to work with. They did not have Fendi sunglasses in that shop, so I returned the other two, and I ended up picking up a pair of aviators that are made especially for women like us that want to wear aviators and not get the nose piece stuck in our hair. They come in several different colors. Matter of fact, the first ones that I tried on were mirrored and I just, mirrored are just not my favorite. I don't mind if it has like a little bit of mirroring, but full on mirrored, that's not my everyday vibe. So she looked it up and she had another color and I can't remember what this is called, but I will look up the exact color down below and I love them. I think they're so pretty. I think they're very, very, this ring light just really messes them up. Let me see if I can scoot back very rich the color is just gorgeous i love the gold i love the size of them they do not touch my cheeks because see how they do have the nose pieces but they are connected in a way where your hair will not get caught up in there so you can still put your hair up with these 
take it right out and put them on. How valuable is that? It's just one of those things that when you are looking at the sunglasses that you're going to wear that day, you will nine times out of 10 pick your most comfortable, your most flexible, your everydays, and ones that you can put up in your hair if you're like me. So loving these, and I'm just, I think you guys would too. I love, I think they're just a really nice addition to my collection because they are sporty, like to wear to the beach or the pool or every day, but yet I don't feel bad wearing them with a dress. I, I still think that they're my vibe. Now, I placed an order. Oh my gosh, did I leave that downstairs? I placed an order with Charlotte Tilbury. I was able to get the... Uh, flawless filter in 4.5 it's i think it's the darkest medium shade and it just i almost can wear this as foundation it just matches perfectly i love it it's definitely been my favorite shade in the flawless filter and then when you order from her website you always get some cool samples and let me go downstairs now and see if i left the bronzer that I got on the counter. I'll be right back. So I got the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. I just got it yesterday and I actually had a new bronzer I wanted to show you too. So I kind of used a combo, but I got the medium. I have not seen one video on this because I didn't want to on purpose because I wanted to have my mind just free and clear on how I felt about this one versus my Chanel. And I can't decide yet because I've only used this one time. But if I had to say right now, I think I still prefer the Chanel. But this is very pretty. And I really didn't give it its fair, fair chance because I forgot and put powder on before I put this on. Because see, my Chanel, I can do that. But this, I think, is not quite as moussey. I think it's just a little bit harder so at first I was scared it was going to like splotch up on me and but it with my little it double ended brush it just went on fine and just to make sure you could see the color I used this and this alone as my eyeshadow. I just used the small end of that same it brush and I put it in my crease. Oh I forgot I had gotten some mascara right there and was letting it dry. Sorry if that's been bugging you the whole time. Because it will bug me the whole time that I'm editing. <laughs> For sure. But this is, I mean, wow. A big mirror. A lot of product. Like I said, I got two medium. I think it's definitely the right shade for me. And I love it on my eyes. I just love when your eyes look sculpted. And you've got something in the crease with a wing liner and lashes. That's just my look. Now, in the winter, you guys know I will go a little bit more. But um, I thought that would be a good way to show you the actual, actual color. Because on the rest of my face, remember when I was showing you the different mineral powders and mineral blushes and bronzers? Well, those got a little bit light for me when it went into spring and even when I started like self tanning. So she sent me the darker bronzer, which is Trinidad. That's what I have on today. And I had it on, oh, I wore it yesterday to the pool. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it because my hand is tan. I don't think you can, but that's what I have on over the, actually I have it a little bit all over because it, it's not sparkly at all, but it does have like a little bit of a sheen to it. You know how beautiful mineral makeup is. I mean, mineral makeup is beautiful. If you feel like dealing with it on your countertop, you know, that's the only negative I see, you know, is it might be easier to pick something like this up than it is that. And then the mineral powder that she sent me to go with my color is beige four. And that is what I have on today all over instead of any translucent powder or anything to set my makeup. And it is, hey, Baba, the rain is going to upset them. Can you see that where I just put it on, like right here, the coverage it has? Yeah, right there. So you can see it is that beautiful 
not, it's just neutral. It's just a neutral beige. Oh, that is so valuable. You know how it is when you look at mineral makeup, they always look bright orange or yellow. This is the actual color of our skin if you're around my shade. So I have a discount code. She gets directly from the, like she gets directly from Alima, so everything is fresh. That's why I like getting my Revitalash and all of that stuff there, so I will put that code down below. And now we are to these beauties. Marnie, Miss Gold Girl. I saw these on her and I immediately went to her like to know it. I saw that they were Steve Madden and they were not expensive, like I think $59 or something. And I asked her, did she order up? Because a lot of times with these plasticky clear shoes, you have to order up a half a size. And she said no, that she was usually always a six and a half or a seven and a seven in Steve Madden and she ordered her normal size. So I was just, you know, matter of fact, I was sitting at the counter. I think I was uh, just getting through eating. And so I just went directly through her link and purchased my normal size eight. Well, then when I looked them up later, I saw that it said you need to order a half a size up. And I was like, oh no. So when I got them, I thought they weren't going to fit. They fit. I mean, they fit like they were made for me. I feel like I could run and jump hurdles in these wedges. They are so comfortable, but keep in mind, my foot is kind of skinny. It's not wide and it's skinny. So if your foot is wider or um, not really skinny, then you may be safer to order the half a size up. I, I have some pictures I'll put in here of me wearing them, but I think they are the prettiest wedges. There is something about the pitch. See how they don't have a big clunky base and just the way that that pitch comes down, it makes your legs and your body look like you're wearing a high heel, not a big clunky clunky wedge. You know what I mean? Like with me, the object is not to look taller. I want that feeling. I want that look in my clothes. I want that high heel posture, and these give you that. So thank you to Marnie for finding these. They are just going to be my go-to for the summer. Along with those Dolce Vitas, I love those too, and I did order the ivory ones, and I believe those might be on sale. Memorial Day, we're going to have lots of different sales. Okay, you guys, I'm going to stand up and show you my dress that I have on that I love. I am a sucker for anything that does this. I think, first of all, I think it's sexy. And second of all, I had a lot of bathing suits and tops like this when I was little. I think it's kind of like a, it just reminds me, like this dress kind of reminds me of Donna Summer and the 70s and the whole disco era. So that, I'll be right back. So this is from, not Zara, believe it or not, it's from Mango. The beauty of this to me is that I can wear it with a flip-flop, but it's long enough I don't know if I would ever wear this with wedges. I think I'm gonna stick with my flip-flops. But when I was putting it on this morning, I noticed that the hem is just, see how it's unfinished? Let me see, it's just cut. So if you wanted to get this dress and cut it, you know, like just below the knees, or you know, you are a petite person and you want to just cut it exactly to fit whatever shoes, then you can do that. And I think that's so great. And I was thinking it would be good too if like Brooke ever wanted to wear it and I was done with it, she could cut it off for herself because she's petite. But isn't it beautiful? I love the back. Oh, I just love everything about it. Okay, this. I love summer bags because you can pick up little bags like this. I love the raffia. This was not expensive. It says handmade. It came in many, many different colors. It's kind of like the Fendi baguette style. Has a little pocket and a zipper. I just got this yesterday too. And how cute is that? Oh my goodness, so summertime. Even with this dress, just to go into like a summer party and maybe match your lipstick to this. I just love it. I might have to get this in. I know it came in black and maybe green and maybe natural, but I love having a good pink bag for the summer. 
and love it, love it, love it with the gold handle. Another dress that I got from Mango is a one shoulder number with the little slit in the side. And I tell you what, I will wear this in my next video, no matter what, even if I end up having to take it off, but I'll wear it so you can see it. I'm thinking I might do a fragrance video this weekend. I've gotten, I actually got some other ones that I wanted to show you so bad, but I feel like I can't now because I've already shown you so many. So if you love fragrance, make sure you watch this weekend because I have two gift sets that are really cool. So I will wear this so we can check it out. I haven't tried it on yet. Like I said, I just got it. I steamed them last night, but I love the little cutout right there. And last but not least, I did not want to hang this because it's heavy and I didn't want to stretch it out. This is what got me on their website. I saw this on the email. Here again, you know I'm a sucker for the whole crochet. Look at this dress. Okay, I'll either wear this one or the other one. You have to tell me down below which one you want me to wear. And it is, you know, somewhat see-through. So what I would probably do is wear it. <laughs> I would either wear it with a bathing suit underneath or use it as a cover-up or just some nice um, nude conservative undies underneath it that matched my skin perfectly. That's probably what I would do but I just had to have it. It wasn't crazy expensive and I just loved it so much that I got it. I love the the line of it too. So it's going to be sexy and elegant and because it's white it'll be oh gosh and with those Steve Madden wedges or or just some good flip-flops. Okay guys I hope that you saw something you like. Okay we're accessories. I put on my hoops today. I still have on through shower after shower the Miranda Fry Huggies. I love them. I think they look so good with everything that I wear. And no necklace because I have this on. The wolf ring, I felt like it went with this vibe. And my watch and funny bunny, still on. So thank you so much for being here. If you are a fragrance lover, I have some really good ones to show you. I also got like, I don't know how many fragrances from Dime Beauty, from just all of these cruelty-free, you know, different sites that you guys have asked me about, cruelty-free, vegan, etc., etc. And I also have been, since the beginning, when you guys DM me and tell me your fragrant, favorite fragrances, Hermes, um, I have a whole stack of fragrances that are my subscriber-suggested fragrances. So I have many videos in my head, so stay tuned, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.